Hi guys, welcome to the Tooth Files. My name is Saba, your friendly YouTube dental hygienist. And today we are going to talk about three types of toothpaste that you should not be using. These days we have access to many different types of toothpaste with different price points, different ingredients, and flavors. You can even get bacon flavored toothpaste. But not all toothpaste are created equal. So let's look at three types of toothpaste that you shouldn't be using. Number one, activated charcoal toothpaste. Activated charcoal is one of those trendy ingredients that seems to be everywhere, from shampoos to face washes to your toothpaste. And when it comes to charcoal paste, they all seem to be advertising the same thing more or less. Naturally whiten your teeth with charcoal while looking cool. But here's the problem with charcoal paste. Activated charcoal can be very abrasive, meaning that over time it can thin out your enamel. And thinning of the enamel can cause more staining, tooth sensitivity, and increasing the risk for chipping your teeth. Another issue with charcoal toothpaste is that the charcoal particles can get stuck underneath your gums and cause irritation and redness. To add to all of that, charcoal toothpastes are usually fluoride free, so you won't even get the benefit of cavity protection from your paste. Look, charcoal toothpastes, they look cool and all, but there is not enough scientific data to back up the claims they make. And more importantly, we don't have enough strong evidence to prove that activated charcoal is safe to use for your teeth. In my opinion, charcoal toothpaste are more of a marketing gimmick, and I wouldn't recommend using them. Number two, DIY toothpaste. DIY and homemade toothpaste are becoming more and more popular. And it's true that with a homemade toothpaste, you will have all natural ingredients, but that doesn't mean that it will be safe to use for your teeth. The concern with homemade toothpaste recipes is that their ingredients are usually very acidic, like lemon juice, or they are abrasive, like salt and charcoal. With regular use, these DIY toothpaste can damage your enamel, and once again, you're at a greater risk for staining and tooth sensitivity. Number three. Fluoride-free toothpaste. Fluoride is an important part of a complete cavity protection routine, and everyone can benefit from it. There is a strong scientific data that tells us that fluoride can help prevent cavities, and it can even help repair small cavities when they are at their early stages. And it can also help treat dental hypersensitivity. Listen, I know that fluoride can sometimes be a controversial ingredient, and I will make another video completely dedicated to fluoride and the health concerns around it. But for now, I want to let you know that fluoride in your toothpaste is beneficial for you, and it can help protect your teeth against cavities, especially if you're someone who is cavity prone. So to recap, you should aim to brush your teeth twice a day. But you should also keep in mind that toothpaste on its own it's not really necessary for removing plaque from your teeth. Toothpaste can give you fresh breath and it can also be used to deliver specific therapeutic agents like those for cavity protection and treating dental hypersensitivity. So if you're worried about the specific ingredients in your toothpaste, you can just use water instead. But if you choose to use toothpaste, here are a few things to keep in mind. One, Look for toothpastes that have American Dental Association ADA's approval. These pastes will always contain fluoride. You can find ADA seal on toothpaste boxes. And I will also leave a link down below that has a list of all ADA approved toothpastes. Two, try to avoid homemade and gimmicky toothpaste. Three, if you're still not sure what toothpaste to use, ask your dental hygienist or your dentist what is the best option for you? So we talked about three types of toothpaste that you shouldn't be using. But should you care about the flavor? And the answer is, unless you're allergic to specific flavoring agents, no, you shouldn't. The reason for why a lot of us crave a cooling, fresh feeling after brushing our teeth and associate mint flavor with clean teeth, it's really toothpaste marketing. Back in the early 1900s, 
toothpaste companies started adding citric acid and mint oil to their toothpaste, which caused a tingling, fresh feeling after brushing. And they started launching campaigns using movie stars to advertise a sparkling smile. And over time, that tingling, minty, fresh feeling became associated with clean teeth. But mint flavor doesn't mean that your toothpaste is good or not. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.